see you here at my desk tonight. I hope you're all well. I thought I'd do a little video because I'm planning to start, can't really believe I'm saying this, it's quite exciting, starting planning for my maths degree. I thought I'd show you what I'm doing, what I'm getting up to, how I'm planning for it and what it takes to plan to start a degree basically. Not gonna lie, it doesn't feel like uni at all. I'm using Notion. Now I saw a comment a few videos ago, like can you show us how you use Notion, what note taking app you use? And at the time of that comment, I was like, yes, I've only just downloaded Notion. I saw on Jaded Jade download Notion. Well, she didn't download it. She has it all set up. It's amazing. So I thought, well, do you know what? I'm going to download it. And at the time of the comment, I didn't really know how to use it. I'd only do a few little things on there. But tonight, really, is the only time I've actually set it up properly. So, this is my notion, as you can see. So, this is kind of how I'm preparing for university. If we have a look at uni here, this is where I have everything organised. Basically, uh, we have here all the different pages that are in the big page called uni, basically. And the first one is info. I'm going to have to blur that out because I don't want you knowing that info, it's my email and my student ID for uni, so we won't be putting that on the internet, but the only thing that's on there at the minute, I've got a little info page. This is pretty cool, this was a template, I'll leave the template in the description down below if you wanna see it. This is my timetable. Some people may be looking at that, like that use Notion a lot and think that's definitely not how you set up a timetable, but it's kind of how I've done it, I quite like it. I can see everything that I've got going on. So if you click into one lecture, I've got my lecturers, I've got the day of the week that that timetabled section is, it's on a Monday every week, the class, the hour, the type, what it is, and I can select, and I've set all this up myself so I can select, and I can also select different lecturers that I've got, and the days that they're on, and also the times. And that's the same for all my other ones. So if you are thinking of doing a maths degree, if you're starting one this year or in a few years time, that these are the things that I've got to do in semester one, I believe. Could also be semester two, or the whole of the first year, but Foundation of Pure Mathematics A, Calculus and Vectors A, and Probability 1. Then I also have a page for Welcome Week, which is basically my to-do list. Just random stuff that I've thought of whilst I've been sat here typing, but I've been able to tick stuff off. Then I've also got an activity calendar in that page. Everything that I kind of had going on in Welcome Week. But as you can see, I timetabled those in my calendar. I mean, I only just did that now so I put them in even though I'd already done them but I just wanted to be able to have everything on the calendar here. Then in university I also have semester one. What I've done here is in semester one I've had a calendar so anything that isn't a lecture or an online class I can put it in my calendar if it's happening in semester one and then here are uh, my four modules or classes. I don't really know what to call them yet. But if we have a look, I've only just done this now, as you saw from the little time lapse at the start of this video. But this is Foundation of Pure Math A. So what I've done is I've took everything from here and basically summarized it on here. What we need to know or what I need to complete. Week one, what are the kind of things that we're gonna be covering? And I can also look at this. There's a, you can add links into Notion. I click there and it takes me to that page that I was just on there. If I I ever need to quickly get to it which is pretty cool and then I've also got links to lecture videos and lecture notes that's basically it that's all I have to show you about Notion really I haven't done anything else for the other courses that I have what I'm doing I'm just trying to get a little bit of a little bit of sense of what's going on because yes we've had calls yes we've had introduction things but it, you start in a degree by yourself really so it, it's quite hard you to kind of find out what's going on and when you need to be joining things and everything that you need to do because if I hadn't have read this I wouldn't know that I need to do a little bit of work which I don't have anything to do right now so I might actually get that done I did start it today and then I got a bit stuck I'm gonna just try and see how much of this I can get done 
done. And then I can tick that off my list for my Foundations of Pure Maths A. And then I might just set up my Notion pages for the rest of my modules. Hey Google, play. Hey Google, stop. Part one, can ET be accommodated in H? No, because every one of Hilbert's hotels is already full. I don't really know. Should we have a little Google? Ah, hey Google, shush. And just like that, I'm back because my camera battery died. I'm just doing a little bit of... Look a bit strange. I'm doing a little bit of reading now on the question because I'm not gonna lie, I've never seen a question like that before. My initial reaction was no. And now I'm just doing a little bit of reading here about how to solve it basically. It's um, Hilbert's Hotel Puzzle. Hey Google, play. I've answered a little bit after reading that, but that wasn't in the context of what our question was. I don't know that I'm allowed to read this. They haven't said I'm not, so... I mean, it's good to get a little bit of background knowledge, but I've kind of answered yes for the first one, yes for the second one, and I've given reasons, but for the third one, I've kind of said yes, but I don't know why. Anyway, that's that now done. I've had an attempt. I can always come back to it, watch a few videos on it if I really want to. Now I'm gonna carry on organizing my Notion pages for all of my lectures. I've done. So I think you saw that, the foundations of pure maths. I've just kind of summarised plans that I need to do, prep list, week one notes, links. I've done more or less the same for vectors and calculus. There wasn't actually that many notes that I needed to put in for week one, but I've got a little prep list. And the same thing for probability one. This was just on our course website. So I just thought I'd type it out just so I know each week what I need to do for this course. And then down at the bottom here, a little prep list. Now I need a week. That's it for the video. I've done everything that I really wanted to do. I am gonna be vlogging my first week of university online, my lectures, whatever I'm doing, I'm gonna be vlogging it. I'm gonna sort of put that into one vlog so you'll be able to see the whole week. So that'll probably be coming on probably the first Saturday of October, whatever date that is. Oh, the second Saturday in September, because this is going up on the first Saturday. I've now got a plan of everything that I need to do before those online sessions, so I can get that done. I might do it on camera, I might not. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. I feel a little bit better prepared now. It's now 11 o'clock at night. What? I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna sort the piggies out first though. Hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks for watching everybody. Best of luck for uni if you start online or little bits here and there in university. Let me know how you get on and I'll see you very, very soon with a brand new video. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye. Together.